Welcome back. We're here in studio with Dr. Terrence Ferguson, star of the hit show Critters Fixers Country Vets, and author and voiceover actor Annette Gomez. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yes. Definitely. Now, we're here to talk about with you guys about your second release, the Critters Fixer book series. Tell us about it. Well, Denise, the first book was about dreams. It was actually about Doc's life, if you just want to reiterate a little bit, Doc. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I would always go and talk to the kids at the school, and I would always tell my story. You know, my story is I wanted to um, be a veterinarian since I was eight years old. Um, I had a dog that was hit by a car, and at that time, I thought I had done something miraculous because the dog got better, and it lit a fire in me to want to become a veterinarian. And I would always tell this story about that, and my mom, and, you know, spelling this word. And she would always push me out there to say, you need to write a book. And I was like, eh, I don't want to write a book book. Um, you need to write a book. I don't want to write a book. So I said, if you help me and we'll do it together, we can make it happen. And we made it happen. And that was the first book. That's a great story. Yes. It is. And I think it was about the impact. Um, and when I heard that story, I was like, Doc, that is great. And kids will usurp that and take it in. So as a reporter, Denise, you understand that. Yes. So the impact I thought that would make. So we did that. And now we've got the second release. Hmm. So the first was about dreams. The second is that there's so much going on in the world, Denise. Now we're like, OK, we look different, but we're all the same. Mm -hmm. So all right, a lot now, of lessons. Now this new release, we heard that this story is based on some real life events. Do you want to talk about those? Absolutely. Because of Doc, I had the best dog in the world for 15 years. She had a car accident. Doc couldn't save the lake. So it was my three-legged wonder. And then I spent five years in Washington, D.C., writing about wounded, ill, and injured soldiers mm -hmm. and the impact that, you know, how that impacted them. Mm -hmm. Incredibly resilient. Mm -hmm. And then the third factor was I have a nephew who has spina, spina bifida. Mm -hmm. And he is amazing. And nothing stops him. So we wanted people to know that those challenges should not stop you from doing. So they were all chronicled in this book. Okay. Yeah. What? Well, well, with little Terry and his adventures, yes. so to speak. <laughs> All right. Now, how big of an impact do you guys think that this series will have made so far? Um, it's definitely made an impact. Mm -hmm. You know, we can see it from the first um, book that we had because of the quantity or the amount of books that were sold. And going into schools, mm -hmm. you know, most of the time we're in schools, we're reading to the kids, and you see their eyes just kind of light up. And uh, with the first book, we really was trying to give them a dream. Mm -hmm. You know, we want them to dream, dream big. Dreams do come true. So these are some of the things that we know it definitely has made an impact. But not only here, it's made an impact um, all across the country. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. We, we just left K Road Elementary in Byron, and someone asked us that, and I said, look, I I don't have the statistics, but look at their faces mm -hmm. when they send Doc letters or emails. Doc, mm -hmm. can you come talk to us? Because I want to be a vet one day. So I, I think it's making an impact. Wonderful. And as a vet and someone who's worked in the news industry, what made the two of you write this book? I, Doc, you go. <laughs> she, made, she made me write it. No, yeah, but she you know, like I mentioned earlier, we would always go into schools and talk to kids. This is something that we've always done, even before we had the book. And Annette would always um, go with me, and she would hear my story over and over and over again. And at, at some point, it became like I'm telling this story over and over. She saw more of the impact in it even than I did. And that's why she was like, you need to write a book so that it can be shared with more than just the schools that you're going to. It can be shared with the world. And uh, so she kind of pushed me on out there. And uh, I told her, as long as she'd jump in and help in, and I'll be willing to do it. And, and she did. And uh, we definitely made an impact. And, you know, it shows now because we're on book two. Yeah. That's a great push. <laughs> yeah. And I think children just need to hear that from mm -hmm. someone. It doesn't necessarily always come from the home. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be an extended parent is yes. what we were trying to do. Definitely. Yeah. Now, what sort of goals are you guys hoping to achieve through this new series? Well, Denise, I don't have to tell you that COVID really impacted school systems mm -hmm. and the literacy rate. And so I think I was telling Doc a couple months ago, I think that's really what my focus is. You have a lot of children that are not reading anymore mm -hmm. and yes. so I think that you know we make it fun we make it interesting so they will pick up a book because they're used to doing this mm -hmm. we want them to pick up a book mm -hmm. and because books take you everywhere look where it took mm -hmm. us so that's the impact I know yes. I was a big reader as my yeah. so I completely understand and the, then the bright beautiful color cover yes. and everything it definitely grabs your attention yes. Yes. courtesy of Dr. Dante Farley from <gasps> Fort Valley State University beautiful illustrations yes now, right now, where can viewers get this beautiful book? 
So we are putting this one on our website, mm -hmm. dreamoutloudmediallc.com. Mm -hmm. But C is for Critter Fixer, and the first in the series was mm -hmm. on Amazon. Okay. But this one's on our website. Right. Yeah. And now, this is something that sounds really good now. If you're interested in learning more about the Critters Fixer book series, head over to our website at 41 nbccom Thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thanks for having us.